Hi and welcome to day 26 of the morning yoga challenge and today's theme is lengthen. So we will be working for a few poses that will really help to create length in the spine and also the, the backs of the legs as well. So hopefully by the end of this you will feel a few centimetres taller than you did when you first woke up. So we will start in a stand-in position. You can bring the feet hip distance apart or you can have big toes to touch for a little gap between the heels. We'll start with arms down by the side, palms facing forward. And just lift all ten toes off the mat, bring your weight forward slightly so you can feel the weight through the ball and also the heel of the foot. And on the exhale, just place all ten toes back down on the mat. And on the next inhale, just reach the arm up, gaze can be up if it feels okay for the neck. And on the exhale, pull the navel in and start to hinge forward at the hips, bringing the arms out in front. Come down to the torso, it's parallel to the floor. And on the next inhale, just lengthen through the spine. So imagine someone's pulling you from the crown of the head, pulling you forward. And on the next exhale, pull the navel in and continue to fold forward, bringing the hands towards the floor. You can have a bend in your knees to keep the back nice and straight. And see whether you can just release the head down towards the floor. The hands can just dangle here, that's perfectly fine. Maybe just shaking the head out, yes or no. Maybe just making some small movements with the legs of the hips just for this first forward fold. And then come to stillness, come to the fingertips or bring the hands to the shins or the thighs and come back up for a, a flat back position. <laughs> and the exhale, pull the navel in and forward fold. And on the inhale, bring the arms out to the side, start to make your way all the way up, bring the arms up and overhead, join the palms together in prayer and then just bring the hands down in front of the chest. And then bring the hands down by the side so we're back in our mountain pose, Tadasana. So we'll run through that a few more times. So on the next inhale, just reaching the arms up, gaze can be up, and then exhale, we're hinging forward at the hips, keeping the arms by the ears. And on the next inhale, length over the spine. And then on the exhale, pull the navel in and continue to fall, fold forward, come down to the mat. Inhale, come onto the fingertips or the hands to the shins for a flat back position. Exhale, forward fold. And on the next inhale, bring the arms out wide to the side. We're coming all the way up to standing position, hands together in prayer. And then exhale, bring the hands down to the chest. And then maybe just bring the arms out back to the side. Arriving back in mountain pose. So we'll do that one more time. So on the inhale, reach the arms up, gazes up. On the exhale, fold and forward, arms by the ears, inhale to lengthen through the spine. On the exhale, fold forward, come down to a forward fold. Inhale to the fingertips or the shins for a flat back position. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, arms out wide to the side, making our way all the way up. Bring the hands together in prayer and then exhale to bring the hands down to the chest and then arms can come out by the side. So we've just woken up the spine a little bit. Now we'll make our way down onto the floor so you can get down to the floor any way that you like. And we'll just bring our feet out in front and start to pull the pinky toes in towards the knees. If 
Try not to lock the knees out, so you want a little bit of a bend here. If you've got a blanket or a towel, you can always pop that under the backs of the knees as well. And feel free to start with a more bent leg position if you like. That's also perfectly fine. Just start to pull the pinky toes in towards the knees so you can feel the muscles in the legs start to contract. Bring the hands down towards the side and just start to open up through the chest. So this is staff pose, Dandasana. It looks like quite a simple pose, but we want to try and keep the back nice and straight, keep the muscles engaged. It's actually quite, it can be quite a challenging pose to hold for a while. And on the next inhale, we'll reach the arms up and then pull the navel in on the exhale and just start to hinge forward at the hips, letting the hands drop wherever they naturally fall. And again, we'll work here with the breaths. So on the inhale, just walking the hands up a little bit, coming up for a flat back position. And then exhale, so if you can fold forward a little bit more. Again, you can have quite a bit of a bend in the knees if you like. Inhale, back up. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, forward fold. And this time we'll just hold it here a little bit longer, just working into the, into the stretch a little bit more. It's quite a good stretch for the hamstrings and the back body. So it stretches all the way down the back of the body, the lower back, the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves. And we'll just hold it here for one more round of breath. And slowly walking the hands back up. Bring the soles of the feet to the floor. The hands can come behind, the fingertips pointing forward. And we'll just window wipe the legs back and forth a few times. So we'll make our way down onto our backs now. So any way that you like to just make your way down there. And we'll bring the soles of the feet to the floor. And then lift the left leg up and start to flex the toes in towards the knees like we did in Dandasana in our staff pose. And with the hands, you might like to just place them behind the thigh, or you can place them behind the calf. Just keep those toes flexing in towards the knee. So you can stay here if you like, or you might want to extend the right leg out, flexing the toes of that, leg of that foot as well. And we'll just hold it here, <clears throat> keeping those toes flexed in might have a bit of a bend in the back of the knee. If you have tight hamstrings, you may even start to feel the legs start to, sh to shake. It's the muscle just not knowing whether to contract or whether to release. So you might want to just bend the knee a little bit to, to ease off. And then just push through the heel of the foot. Now we can take some ankle rolls, just rolling the ankle in one direction and then the opposite direction. And then maybe flexing and extending the foot a few times. It's quite, for me, it's quite nice in the calf when I do this. Great. So from here, if you like, you can bring the sole of the right foot back just for the first bit. And take your left hand on the outside of the left leg. You wanna keep the right hip down. So to begin with, it might help just to bring the hand to the right hip. And you can do this with either the leg, 
with the sole of the foot on the floor or you can have the leg extended. And then just start to let the left leg come out to the side. Just supporting the leg as you go. Making sure that the hip isn't lifting off the mat. If it is, just come back slightly. And then when you're ready to come out of it, you might want to bend the leg, just support the leg, come back up to centre. And from here, take your right hand, bring it to the outside of the left knee. Bring the left arm out to the side, palm facing down. And we'll just send that left leg across the body. You can have the leg out straight if you like, or you can keep the knee bent. You also have the option, if you like, to keep the right leg bent as you come across. That's also perfectly fine. And then you might like to send the gaze out over the left hand. And then gently supporting that left leg, make your way back up to centre. And then we'll send both legs out long on the mat. And we'll just take a moment here to notice how the legs feel. Does the left leg feel different to the right leg? Does the left leg feel slightly longer than the right leg? And we'll bring both legs back so the soles of the feet are on the floor. And we'll do the same three poses on the opposite side. So bring the right leg up, maybe interlace the fingers behind the thigh or the calf, keeping the toes pointed in towards the knee, maybe straightening out the left leg. And we'll just hold it for a few rounds of breath. Maybe noticing whether this leg feels slightly different to the, to the other leg. Then we'll start to take some ankle circles in one direction, in the other direction, and maybe flexing and straightening the foot. And from here, you can bring the left foot, sole of the foot back onto the floor if it's not there already. Bring the left hand to the hip, the right hand to the outside of the right leg. And then just gently start to bring that right leg out to the side. You might just be here. You can have the foot more at an angle if that feels better for you. Just play around with it and see, see what feels good for you. Maybe sending that left leg out long again, just making sure that that hip stays grounded. And then when you're ready, just supporting that leg, making it come back up to centre. From here, we'll bring the right leg out to the right leg, the right arm out to the side, palm facing down. And with the left hand, we'll just start to support. We'll bring that left hand to the outside of the right leg and just start, start to guide or support that right leg across the body, either with the leg straight or the leg bent. And then maybe sending the gaze out over the right hand. And then supporting the leg, slowly make your way back up to centre. And then just send both legs out long on the mat. Just take a moment here. 
bringing your awareness to your legs and the back of the body. And then when you're ready, you can slowly make your way back up. So that was day 26, a lengthening sequence. I'm sorry we did go over a little bit, but I do hope that you feel like you've created more length in the body and you feel a little bit taller today. So I hope to see you back for tomorrow, which is day 27. And the theme is expand. I'll see you then.